Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I want to show you what I made in one of the classes at Creativation. This is a magnolia flower and it was made with real leather from Silver Creek Leather. You can see how they write their name, real leather with only one L and it's Silver Creek Leather Company. They were at booth 369. So the class was taught by Annie Libertini. I'm going to give you a link under this video to her website. You really <laughs> take my advice and go look at her website at the masks that she has made. Okay, so that said, they gave us the leather like this. It is about one millimeter thick. It's not thick at all. This was a leaf that was given to us. So what, the, what we did, this was all flat, all of it. And so she had actually pre-soaked it for the petals and they gave us this tool. And this is a smoothing tool here, but we used the sharp one and we actually drew the lines through the petals, which we could do veins for the leaf here. And then once that's done, what we did was we took a ping pong ball and we shaped each one of these petals around a ping pong ball you would just kind of push it around. Like if this, we were doing this, you would push it, it had to be wet, of course. You had to push it down, stretch it, pull it, and hold it for a few seconds and just keep working on it. So we got that all molded up, pinched the ends here, and then we let it dry. And when you let it dry, it remains in the shape that you had uh, had formed it in. So, and this was, this for the center of the flower was a long strip with notches in and we rolled it up. So we didn't get a chance to paint them in class. We will have to do that at home. So I painted mine at home. And I guess that she had, they had in paint in class and they had really used, it said leather acrylic. I couldn't find any such thing here. They gave us a white and kind of a, a yellowish color and somehow mine didn't make it home. So I just used what I have, which is just regular acrylic paint. And so the first coat you put on there is slightly diluted and then let it dry and then put another coat of the regular strength and then let it dry and then a third coat. The thing too is if I had wanted to return this to its natural shape, I could have really soaked it and flattened it back out pretty well. So I can do this leaf at home. I can shape it and paint it after I shape it. I think I want to give it a little bit of like leaf look, a little bit of a leaf curl there. And also Real Leather had uh, what's called Demo Alley at Creativation. Eileen Hall was demonstrating how to cut out their leather and emboss it in embossing folders. So she used the Big Shot and she did that. She cut this out with a die and she embossed it and she just added a little bit of gold on the front and gave this to me. I will give you a link under this video to her demo very cute. So the class, we got the tool, we got the leather. They gave us a couple extra leaves, but they don't kind of match this project. So we got two of those like this and, and a brush. And so that's what we got in class. I think this is really pretty. And I am amazed at what you can do with real leather. So I, I don't want to, you know, include photos from uh, the teacher Annie's website. So I will have you go there. Make sure you look at that link underneath. You'll be astounded at what she has done. And if you've ever watched the television show Gotham, she designed the owl masks that a whole group of people wore in the show. And those are also on her website. And then after I got home and I started playing around myself. And so I bought some real leather. I was inspired by watching Eileen Hull do her embossing. And I thought that is just too cool. So I took this and this is real leather. This is real leather. This piece, this tan piece is craft text. And I just cut it out with dyes and I edged the side with gold ink. And then I punched holes here and there. And at the top, I actually, I punched a hole and I put one eyelet through all three layers. This, I'll show you what I used on it. This blue here is this color shift from Folk Art 513130 Aqua Flash. This one I did in color, same thing, color shift. And this one is, I can't read it, 52 something nine Dragon Flash. There's a number actually missing on it. 
And then when that was dry, I just brushed a little bit of this on it with my finger. And this is from Royal Talons. It's the gold, deep gold ink that we got at Creativation. I also put that around the edge here. And then when this was dry, I co coated that with Dragonfly Glaze in 44384 Blue Green to Gold Shift. Gave it a beautiful look. Oh, I also did take a, a, my finger and got some black over the type letters there before I, I did this. So I added this uh, sun here and this uh, seahorse and this camera. And now I need to get a bigger jump ring so I can actually make a necklace out of this, which is my goal from the beginning. But one thing I've been thinking of as I'm looking at this now is that I think I would like, I would prefer to have maybe a um, starfish at the bottom here, charm. So, because then it would be all like a beach theme. But the camera is okay too. I was trying to use what I already had in my stash. So I think that is really cool. I am loving the leather projects and this is fun, but I think for me, I'm way more excited about embossing on leather than shaping it. Uh, I found, and this may help you, I found that the doing this, doing the lines, it really, it, my hands got really tired. And also I found that shaping this around the ping pong ball, my hands got really tired. Whereas this, it's pretty quick. Um, but I could see if you really wanted to sculpt leather, you would how you would enjoy this. So thank you for coming along on this journey and about more of my creativation experiences in 2022 and about the class that I took.